二零二三年嘅第十一條 MC 咧，又係有關於 ATP 啦。咁以下邊一個步驟係會製造到 ATP 嘅咧？咁題目自不然就係考我哋啦，有關於呼吸作用啦、光合作用啦。邊一啲嘅步驟去製造到 ATP 啦？第一個咧就係、是、糖解，糖解咧就係、是、呼吸作用嘅第一個步驟，佢係會製造 ATP 嘅。咁一係答案啦。咁第一個步驟係可以製造 ATP 啦。去到第二啦，就係、是、Kelvin cycle 啦。Kelvin cycle 咧就係、是、喺光合作用嗰度去利用 ATP 去做一個碳嘅固定嘅。所以第二咧就唔係答案啦。去到第三啦，就係、是、光化反應，就係、是、光合作用嘅第一個步驟，佢就係攞嚟預備我哋嘅 Kelvin cycle 當中咧係會製造 ATP 嘅，所以三咧都係答案。咁所以啦，其實只要你能夠篩走到 Kelvin cycle 咧，答案都已經出咗嚟噶啦。咁過往啦都有唔少 MC 咧都係問有關於 ATP 嘅生成噶，咁啊快啲睇下片温下書咯噃。咁同埋啦，呢條題目又有啲咩嘅變奏呢？今次佢就問你啦，邊一啲嘅步驟過程係會製造到 ATP？ 咁下次啦，佢就可以問下你咯喎，有啲咩嘅步驟過程係會利用 ATP 喎？嗱，照樣俾翻呢三個答案你啊，糖解、Kelvin cycle 同埋光化反應，究竟邊一啲嘅反應係會利用 ATP 啊？你喺留言區留低你嘅答案啦。Two to three MC question eleven is about the ATP production. Which of the following processes produce ATP? This question it asks us to recall the ATP production in the respiration and photosynthesis. So let's let the exam. So let's go through the answer. Process one, glycolysis, is the first step of the aerobic respiration. It can produce ATP. Option one is correct. And then option two, Kelvin cycle. It is the second part of the photosynthesis. It will consume the ATP. For the carbon fixation, therefore, is the way to use the ATP rather than to produce ATP. Therefore, option two is wrong. And finally, process three, photochemical reaction. That's the first part of the photosynthesis to produce ATP to prepare for the Kelvin cycle. Therefore, it can also produce ATP. Therefore, the answer is B, one and three only. So you can see that once you can eliminate option two, and then you will get the answer easily. And there were different MC about the ATP production. So watch the video and do revision. So in this question, any possible question variation. This time it asks you that which of the following processes produce ATP. So maybe next time it asks you which of the following processes use ATP. So I still give you these three processes: glycolysis, Kelvin cycle, and photochemical reaction. So leave your answer in the comment section. Let's see your concept is clear or not.